RTTV is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Uh, protect your online information from hackers. Don't let them steal your financial details. Go to expressvpn.com slash RTTV to learn more. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. I'm Gus. <laughs> oh, where were we? <laughs> I got... I'm Eric. I'm Barbara. And I'm Gus. And we're back. Are we're you back. Yeah! Oh! Well, let's go all the way. <laughs> Wow! I think I broke mine. That's cool! They, well, you can see all the way up! <laughs> <laughs> they literally just discovered that these are Look required. Look at them. You're, right about, to, you're about to get a business on that one. You almost saw uh, hanging brain up in there. Oh, baby. Oh, I just sat in gum. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> That's just penis. <laughs> I kicked we, my thing. You've got, uh, we've got recliners. We we're, got, back, we're back, baby. Thirty seconds. Podcast five ninety. <laughs> we we were counting before six. No, what? Yeah, five ninety. We yeah. were counting before <laughs> we went live. We did fifty four in a row at home. Yeah, our Best. last one was five eighty nine, right? Beautiful. Yeah, our last one in studio was five eighty nine, and this is six forty four. I said we should just call this one five ninety. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing a good idea. ever happened. Yep. Forget all that other shite. Yeah. Yeah. Skip those. Five ninety. Well, cheers. Back to we're being back. in studio. Cheers, cheers everyone! Oh. Is this what we're cheersing, or do we cheers oh. what's on the table, friends? Gus. Oh. You, you... Uh-huh. So we've argued recently about whether frozen Cokes are the same as Coke Slurpees. Mm -hmm. So to settle this argument, you went and bought melted versions of both no, of them. No, 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 no. And you when brought I them got in. them, When I brought them here, they were good to go. W when did they get here? Like two hours ago? They got here... Look at this. Five <laughs> minutes Look before. At that. Five, they, five a, simple minutes before. Is that before. a Coke Slurpee or is then, that just a Coke? I mean, do they, they just happened? melt to Coke? Do they become Coke? They I don't know. You have to taste both and see. They become flat Coke. <laughs> it looks like a science experiment I did in high school where I took water, oil, and one other liquid that I'm forgetting right now so you could see like the density yeah. and how they separate. That's what that looks That's like. That's exactly what that looks like. Let's. Here's the thing. Gus wouldn't stop talking. Listen, about every I time care. I talk to Gus, he's saying frozen Coke, frozen Coke. Because he keeps I'm going to get to enjoy a delicious frozen Coke with my friends. Uh huh. You know what I'm realizing right now that I'm very hyper aware of? What's that? Uh, the audience at home, they're seeing our legs for the first time in a really long mm. time. Look at my legs! We've got legs still. No! <laughs> I got a stick and poke tattoo of a little pizza slice. <laughs> Why is it shiny? You'll oh, never that? Oh, I, have, that. I have a, I have a, like, aquaphor on it. There we go. I got pizza vacation tattoo. So is the, which one's the good one? Is any of them good? Mm. I don't like Coke. <laughs> this garbage. This garbage. The McDonald's one's good. The other, the other one's good. good. This is this is garbage. Seven Eleven, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Oh shit! Oh, that's disgusting. I told you, that one's good. That's delicious, right this there. This is gonna be just bad. Oh, that's on my knee now. So why why did we get both of them? You just wanted to know if they were the same thing. I wanted to, yeah, because I think they're the same. Can I get some whiskey for this? Is that a drink? <laughs> All right. Is whiskey That's, a drink? Whiskey, is whiskey and Coke a drink? Yes. Yeah, but whiskey and frozen Coke? Could What's you? that called? Do we have it's that? It's called um, uh, whiskey and frozen Coke. Mm. Are we going to get yelled at if we do that? What, yelled at for whiskey? Yeah. It just, it just tastes like flat Coke. Yeah. This, this is a terrible the 7 -11. experiment. Why? Because they're all melted. What? Oh, okay. Well, let's, let's go to 7 Eleven and get them new. What do you want to do? Yeah, right. the McDonald's way. You, well, well, you brought them over and they were melty. I put them in there and they were perfect. I like that so. we can argue in real life. There's no delay. Yeah, I could I could see someone's face as I'm yelling at them. <laughs> <laughs> Everything I could ever want. I um I wore pants specifically for the podcast today. Normally I don't because like you said we haven't shown our legs mm -hmm. in a year. Normally yeah. I'm just hanging brain in my desk chair <laughs> when we're doing the podcast. <laughs> just two dogs staring at yeah. you, going like, "Oh, there it is, huh?" Yeah, the brown whole thing. Sta brown stain right down the middle do of the chair. Do you? <laughs> do you actually do the podcast without any? No, okay. I, I wear shorts. <laughs> Someone's I read, gonna write some fanfic right after this. There was a uh, a thread on Reddit maybe a year or two ago, where uh, someone wrote like a uh, hotel workers of Reddit. You know what are the things that people should look out for that uh, common travelers don't think about? And one of them, uh, one per one person wrote, you know, I work at a hotel. One thing people never think about is we can wash sheets, but we don't wash pillows. So uh, oh. like the pillowcase may get washed, but the pillow itself is probably oh, filthy. No. Um, which is something I never thought about. Yeah, uh, I just think about how much I drool right. when I sleep. I, that's exactly what I thought about. So you're what? sleeping on... Oh, you drool. I thought you meant like I, like, I goo. Oh, no, no, like drool. mouth drool. Yeah. yeah. Not I. Do you, I drool. Do you drool when you sleep? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Mike just fell right into Gavin's lap. <laughs> Uh, We're not even at home, and your equipment's still fucking. Yeah, up. what the fuck? <laughs> I'm not like a bed drooler. 
Uh huh. But if I fall asleep somewhere that's not a bed, I think I do draw. Like a plane. Yeah. Or like on a couch if you're taking a nap. Yeah, on a, like on a couch. Yeah. I feel like I've drooled a couch before, but not the, a bed. The worst is I sleep with that CPAP on, that like mask. Oh, yeah. So I'll drool and it'll collect in the mask. <laughs> and <laughs> then I'll roll over in my sleep <laughs> and then like all that cold Shit. drool just like gets oh. on my face. And I'm like, well, well you I have you... to wake up and like take the mask off and dry it out and dry my do face you ever, off. Do you ever sleep on the one side and then you roll over and then like you drink it and then you that... go to like the other or side? Or just yep. washes over your yeah. face to the other <laughs> side. I think oh. it's because you have very big cheeks to yeah. collect and, drool. And I feel like the corners of my mouth don't seal properly. <laughs> it's like God, there's please, a leak on. there. <laughs> what? The, wait, hang on. Like, what? <laughs> it's not watertight. The corners of my mouth, so that's why the drool. Wait, comes. so go like this. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now spray water out the side of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, like if like you blow, there. if you blow, will air come out? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out of both sides. This is nuts. <laughs> I'm Mine's not even blowing that hard. Seal. Mine's a pretty good seal too. You're Although like I have, I have an issue. Out. I have an issue with things not else. sealing when I sleep, and that's my yeah. eyes. My eyes stay half open when I sleep. What? Yeah, like I sleep like this. What the fuck? So like, like a cat? You, like you can still see whites in my eyes. Oh my god. Are your eyes super dry when you wake up? They are super dry when I wake up. <laughs> I've never <laughs> thought but, about that, how but, my eyes are open and they're dry. But how do you fix that? What do I do? Tape. Do I put tape? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a cold eye? I, I can't say I have. Like maybe, a, I think eyes maybe don't have temperature on them as a feature because I've never had a cold eye. That feels cool. What, Eric? As a feature? <laughs> I don't think they added that feature when we were born. You can put them in your cold mailbox and chill them out. It's a great idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the other thing, so I'm, 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 I, I said the, about that thread of hotel workers. That I mean, one he, thing they said was the, the dirty like pillows. Slurpy. The other thing that they said was if you look at, you know, um, lots of hotels have like that little desk with the telephone and like the chair. Mm -hmm. If you look at a lot of those chairs, there's a brown streak right down the middle of them. No. What do you mean? Like that, uh, the, at the concierge or something? No, like no, that? like in your room, no, like in your room. that little desk. Oh, oh, be, oh, because, yep. Yeah, yeah so if you like have a chair in your hotel room, room service. Yep. you probably have never paid attention to it, but if you look at the seat lots of times, there's just like a brown streak down the middle. I'm like not <coughs> naked <coughs> around my house in a hotel room. Like I'm just like, I'm in at least some clothes. Yeah. Yeah, you're naked when you're in the shower and then that's yeah, it. Yeah, that's about yeah. it. And then, and then when I get out of the shower, I see myself in the mirror and I go, no! And then I have to put on clothes really fast. I feel like I don't want my skin to touch other people's shit. Yeah. Like if I'm in a hotel using the stuff, gotta have coverage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like I won't even use a bath. That's gross. At a hotel? Yeah. I'll... Or just in general? <laughs> <laughs> just at a hotel. I just take, because I don't want to lie down where people stand. It's grim. Who takes a bath at a hotel? Some people do. They run that bath. Some people do you definitely take baths at hotels. Have you? Especially... Um, probably. I think, yeah, I stayed at a hotel, I think, in Sydney, Australia one time that had, like, one of those big jacuzzi tubs. Mm. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna yeah. treat myself. Yeah, that some rooms have, like, the big, really but nice yeah. big But that's tub. not, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about it's going to a show. regular hotel mm. and taking a bath in the regular-ass bathtub. Yeah, if it's just, like, a... T well, it's usually that like Most, shower bath combo. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, you're out of touch. Most people don't stay in a Sydney hotel with a jacuzzi bathtub. I'm talking about a uh, Hilton that's uh, <laughs> that's eighty nine dollars a night Courtyard in, Marriott. in Sedona, Arizona, and you're just like, oh, I guess yeah, I'll take these, a bath here. What like, are these Australian baths you've been going? Yeah, what uh, was that, that was when we were at RTX Sydney. Mm. I didn't. Or it might or have did been. I not go? <laughs> it might have been. No, it might have been Supernova, mm. which um, was another convention yeah, we used I've, to do. I've stayed in some shitty Australian rooms tell you that yeah i yeah so have i yeah <laughs> <laughs> there, was, there, oh, no. there was was it the last year we went you weren't there i don't know why i looked at you eric uh i'll answer i don't know if you were at that one either gavin but there was an rtx sydney we went to where the hotel we were staying at was like i felt like we were in a sex dungeon hotel what? was it the one oh. next with, to like, the theater all the hands in place do you remember they like all the rooms had like ma like mannequin hands on it, them it was the one with like a cafe on the first floor and you had to take the elevators and, and it was like, like really dark yeah 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 and the rooms were black mm -hmm. <laughs> that sounds hot I, I kept finding dead cockroaches in my room oh my god, oh my god. and like it, like I, I only found like three and i never only. saw like like a That's live one more than but i would i would go to the <laughs> front desk i remember i was like there's i mean it's not a big deal but can you, I don't know, like, can you spray or something? I keep finding, <laughs> like, I, I feel like I keep finding these roaches. I've never had this problem before. I like that one would have been fine, but you're mentally keeping count at this point. Yeah. Like, yeah. if you see four, it's like, 
Well, four is clearly too many. Yeah, there's a problem. Yeah. And they, they were super apologetic about it. They're like, we should have given you a new room. I think they were sold out. They didn't <laughs> have another room to move to. <laughs> and they were like, you know, we'll, uh, you, you know, and we weren't paying for it because it was part of the event. Thing. Uh, so Mr. They were Strollo, like, we see you're staying in the Roach Room. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you will pay extra for that. Yeah. Uh, oh, and then they were like, the next time you come down, you know, well, you can stay for free. You know, it's, it's, you know, we're so sorry about it. I was like, it's fine. I haven't been back. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, they're not. Do you think they're still going to let you stay for free? I, I doubt they remember. It's like, oh. how, it's like the manager told me face to face. It's like, he didn't give me a <laughs> coupon or anything. <laughs> One free stay. One free stay. <laughs> Too many roaches. One free stay. They had like the little reason underneath yeah. that they could write it in. <laughs> Too much roaches. Three Ro roaches. More than two roaches. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, more than one, I think, is what does it. And like, if you find one, yeah. it's a fluke. There, a bug got in. But and I wasn't three? mad about it or anything. It was like, I think for every star that the hotel is more, there should be one less roach. Until you're at five stars and there should be no roaches. And there roach. should be no zero roaches. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever found dead bugs in your room? Are you finding like a lot of dead bugs in your room? Like uh, when you go to hotels? I mean, it depends where you are. I feel like not once. I can't think of not once. I mm -hmm. can't think of finding a bunch of dead bugs in any hotel. I've seen a bunch of hotels, bad hotels. I don't even remember yeah. if I've seen a bug, I unless it's like an ant or like a fly. Yeah, like yeah, right. Like there's no. But I once stayed at a hotel in Anaheim that made one of us pay cash because someone else wanted to use a credit card because it was that kind of hotel. But there was nowhere else to stay, and it was very oh. late at night. Uh, there were no bugs. So you're staying in a weird spot. No yeah. bugs. Sex dungeon hotel. Is yeah. that what you call it? Yeah. It was, I mean, it was a fine place fine. to stay. It was just like, they are they were trying something. Yeah. And I don't know if it necessarily is something that they should have I, tried. Yeah. It was, once you turned the lights off, it was great. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> oh, Very man. dark. Ugh. Then until they skitter across your face. They had like a sliding wall that opened up from where the bathtub was to the bedroom. So you could like open the wall to the bathroom. So you're like, have like this big weird open space between the two. And I'm like, what scenario? Other than like some weird kinky sex going on here. That, you use this for? that is a trend in hotels that I've noticed. Mm. There is a weird open floor plan thing with rooms yeah. where they go, the bathroom can be easily seen <laughs> from everywhere. From everywhere. And you go, why? So you could take a shower and then talk to your friends <laughs> as they are also in your room. But or they don't have a door at all. Yeah. Like it, bathrooms that don't have doors. I'm like, couples stay here I or like you wild. You stay here with a friend. They yeah. don't want to see or hear you shit. I, nope. I stayed at a hotel once in LA that I sat down on the toilet and in, right in front of me was a mirror from the floor, like all the way to the ceiling. Like, it was a narrow mirror. So it's like, when you sit down on the toilet, you can watch yourself shit. Like if you look straight, at, and it wasn't far. It was like from my knees to the table, like two or three feet but in front of you. You surely couldn't see the shit going in. Well, no. Did I mean, I guess if you like angled you a little bit or like try. spread your you legs. Hover, 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 I did not try. Vision, like, between the seats so you could just see it. Like, Do some of this. A, a I, I mean, shocking to me that you did not try. I'm not Jeff. I'm Gus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been a year. I'm sorry. <laughs> So oh, you, you got to up. see you got to see your shit face. I got to see my shit time. face How right, right up close. It was good. It was you so made eye contact with yourself while you like while it came out. <laughs> no, I couldn't. Like I was so, I was I was so embarrassed about watching myself shit. I couldn't look at the mirror. Like I, I was like, oh, I think I'd make the most. I try and wink at myself yeah. as I pinch one off every time. Looking, looking good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I still every time I talk or people talk about shitting i always think of zach anner and how he talked about how his ball sack touches the water when he takes a shit because that's really low balls because yeah they're very droopy and i can never get that image out of, out of my oh. mind <laughs> oh no i remember staying at a hotel for mega with mega 64 one year for some convention it might have been rtx i don't remember but <laughs> it was one of those open floor plans where it was like here's two beds here's half a wall Here's the shower, so you can watch your friend shower if you want to. The toilet was in its own little door. And we just called it shit closet yep. because it yeah. was just like you stay here and you shit. <laughs> and then when you're done, you get out of the shit closet. You cannot stay. I still remember my first time meeting you guys. Mm -hmm. Well, the first time we actually hung out. Mm -hmm. I think you were there for that. Where I came up, like a bunch of people were hanging out in a hotel room. This was like back in the day where that's what people did at cons. Yeah. They just like had a big party in people's rooms. Right when we were in our 20s, yeah. Yeah, and I came in there um, bringing alcohol, including a alcoholic whipped cream that I had received as that was a you. Gift. Yeah, hot and dog. It was I a chocolate that. whipped cream, and I was like, "Hey guys, anybody want to try this?" I start shaking it, but I'm pressing the button at the same time <laughs> as I'm shaking it, so it I, just, I just sprayed chocolate whipped cream all over the white bed sheets <laughs> in the <laughs> hotel room. I, I, I was there. That was Boston, wasn't that was it? Boston, yeah, I was yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 in this hotel room, a lot. 
to say to say to say that it was a mess to say that it was a mess was an understatement to say that it looked like actual shit is like on the fucking money (laughs) it looked it looked like somebody it looked like somebody stood up and squatted over it and just went here we go (laughs) just fucking tore someone's already in the shit closet (laughs) 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 brian's trapped in the shit closet (laughs) <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, man. Well, it's good to be back. What year was that? That was like, oh, that was, two, I think the first ever PAX East, so I want to say, oh no, maybe the second. It was either 2010 or 2011. I think it was the second. I wasn't at the first one because it was at a different convention this, center and then mm-hmm. they moved it. This is a weird thing to say. Maybe 2012. It was the same year as the earthquake in Japan, I think. I think that was, like, I think the Japanese earthquake... Happened is like that the how day you after file that. Away your time is like Japanese natural disaster. No, it's like, I think it was like it was like I think it happened like that day. Mm. Yeah, like that same day that where you did that. It takes it's usually what like March ish, mm-hmm. Pax East. So while you were spraying whipped cream all over a bed, twenty eleven. There was an earthquake. Well, it was a butterfly <laughs> effect. I don't know if it was at the exact. So that was twenty eleven. No, it had to be. Right. Be, it I mean, had it, to be before yeah. that. Uh, no, I think it was twenty eleven. Because that was one. No, it. it oh had no no no, no twenty twelve. You're right. Because I, sorry, I get my years mixed up. I got hired at the end of 2011. Mm. Oh, so there you go. I was trying to think like the first packs I did as mm-hmm. a Rooster Teeth employee was 2012. But, but but 2011 would have been the year that you weren't working for us and you went you, down there. You were still there. That's true. You, I did volunteer at your booth yeah. for the first two years. And that's when we had the old. I did that with Make 64 for a long <laughs> <Yeah>. time. <laughs> that's, that's when we had up the, until you were done there. <laughs> the old podcast set. <laughs> yeah, and we, yeah, you yeah. and I had to set that up alone. This episode of the Receive Podcast is brought to you by Squarespace. With everything from websites to online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence so you can run your business, establish your online brand, or make a gallery for your work. Listen, I know how hard it is to build your own website. I've done it before. Uh, But Squarespace has a ton of great features to really help you personalize your site without the hassle. They've got social media integration, so you can display posts from your social profiles on your website, or you can push website content to your social profiles so your friends and followers can share. Super easy. Uh, They also have their own email campaign feature, so you can stand out in even the most flooded inbox and unify your brand voice from your homepage to your emails. And every Squarespace site is optimized for mobile, so it'll look great on any device. Don't you hate it when a site is totally fine on desktop, completely unusable on your phone? Not an issue at all with Squarespace. Squarespace is super simple to use. It optimizes everything. It's all point and click. There's no coding required. Anyone could do it. I bet Gavin could do it. Uh, so check out squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash roosterteeth to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. God. Oh my God. Remember conventions? Jesus Christ. I've been thinking about those a lot. Shit was rough. Like when and how do those come back? Oh, they're coming back it's just and like it'll 60, be 60,000 people in one Totally place. normal. I drove by 100% normal. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a, every, nothing will change. I drove by a billboard the other day uh, that said, like, it was an advertisement for the Renaissance Fair that happens out, like, east of town. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, I guess they're having that. And I was like, is that a good idea? Well, I guess, like, I guess people are getting vaccinated and it's outdoors, <clears throat> but I mean, it seems soon. It still seems soon for something like that. Yeah. I know, yes. you know, I, I you know, you if you're watching the video version of this, you've you've seen the lower third that you know we all got tested and, uh, you know, yeah, there's everyone that set has a negative test. We even have like a COVID compliance officer you can't see who's just off camera right over, right there. over here. He'll wave at us right now. There he goes. <laughs> 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 Who makes sure that people are keeping distance and yep. uh, that everything is safe. In fact, when we came here for the photo shoot uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, we were all sitting down eating lunch, and he came over. He's like, "There's too many people sitting at this table." Like, <gasps> like, 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 keep, but you know, keeping us safe. Like, I was yeah. like, oh, "Okay, like, I'll get up, I'll move away." Like, you know, like we take it seriously. Like, people who are, are keeping distance and trying to keep things safe, even though everyone's tested negative. Who's exactly. here? I feel also, like oh, we are the same distance apart as if we were just sat on the couch. Though <laughs> I know we could have got the big couch probably, and, yeah, and have you guys just, just the big couch, here. right? Which is adjustments, little yeah. by little. I think it's just baby a, steps. Have physical space. Although the couch doesn't recline, so it sucks. That's true. Say, I'm yeah. all about these chairs. These yeah. are I think we should fixtures. Replace. These are fucking awesome. I say that now that I'm in this chair now. That you fool. Yeah. <laughs> you tried to get me a switch. I'll never switch. I'll also, I also I tweeted about this, so I'll say it publicly too. But I I'm comfortable saying that I've been vaccinated, fully vaccinated. So. Um, oh, yeah. That's another factor that's made me yeah. feel a lot safer doing stuff like this. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I encourage mm-hmm. anybody watching if they have access to the vaccine that they should get it. Yeah. It's safe. It's effective. It's something yeah. that's going to help us get back to that normalcy that we all want. So I bad. got a haircut. <laughs> you got a haircut. Yeah. yeah, it was it was cool. I walked in and the guy I usually see was just like, whoa. <laughs> 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 and I was like, you gave me this haircut at the end of 2019. He was like. Same again? I was like, yep. Yep. <laughs> and he just did it again. And I just saw 
the entirety of 2020 in my hair on the floor. Like Did an entire year cuff. I was like, yeah. I, I shouldn't have asked Did that. Did you keep Did, it? Well, you know, it's... Did you make a little doll out of it? No. Now you have a doll out of your hair? No, it was on the floor. It was like swept. It, it was nasty. I'm gonna pick up. Yeah, I know. I didn't know if they did the thing where they like made a ponytail and cut the ponytail off and then you could donate it. Your quarantine hair. No. No. It probably wasn't long enough. I think you need 12 inches of hair. What to give away? To donate. Mm. Yeah. Game strikes me like a four. (laughs) Four inches is fine. It's generous. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I I uh, I also got my. I'm fully vaccinated as well. I feel like uh, you know, I think. It's been scarce for so long. People are like, like maybe trepidatious about talking about it. I know for I sure. was for a while uh, as well. I didn't post anything about it on social media when I got it or anything. Well, but I, a, yeah. But I, like it's becoming super available now, at least here. Like I got uh, today alone, I've received multiple texts from like different doctors at different places like, hey, we've got vaccines right now. Come on down yeah. and, and get them if you need a reply to this text right now. You can come and get one. I know. I I, really, I wish I could like retweet all these things, but I wouldn't want to like clog my timeline up with just retweeting like vaccine availabilities. But there's like places in LA and all like all these places all over the country where they're like, we have all these vaccines available. We just need people to show up. Like here's the location. I feel like location. we're not going to be changing any minds though. I mean, the people getting them are going to get them. Yeah, people it's not like no. But I mean, it couldn't hurt to say like, I'm I felt comfortable getting it and I'm fine. What is that, Bill Gates? Yes, I will deliver the message right away, absolutely. Phone works great. Yeah. If there's great. anyone watching this and they're going, did Eric get vaccinated? That's really going to affect the way that I feel about my vaccination. Please get off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Just but, stop. You gotta be, you're very online, what should, and you need to get less online. But, Eric, what should people, if they want your opinion, uh-huh. and you can actually provide a good opinion, uh-huh. what subjects do you think your opinion is valid for? Uh, I would say, yeah, yeah, early 2000s to mid, probably 2010s, professional wrestling (laughs) uh i would say like what like really what happened with new japan pro wrestling and what led to them being where they're at now all elite wrestling and how they got here the importance the importance of southern california professional wrestling through the through the early 2000s not just through pro wrestling gorilla but with things like xpw check it out dark side of the ring premiering may 4th but anything outside of that realm no i probably maybe padres baseball probably don't listen okay yeah yeah <laughs> unless if your question is about padres baseball or professional wrestling that's it but if you're like did he get vaccinated please shut up <laughs> please leave me please leave me alone for both of our sakes <laughs> I realized that I follow a lot of people from San Diego on Twitter. After Hell yeah. the, the Padres had a no hitter the other day. It's like, man, my timeline is just full yeah. with Eric and Brian yeah. talking. We're and going Sean fucking crazy. All talking about the, the fucking no hitter. It happened and we FaceTimed each other like right when it happened and we were just fucking losing our minds. It was so cool. I so, was so excited. What happened? So the Padres, San Diego Padres, have been a Major League Baseball team for over 50 years. For over 50 years, Gavin. That's half a century. Why they've never ask? thrown a no-hitter. <laughs> a no-hitter. Every time they've had a baseball game, at least one other person on the team has gotten a hit. Every single time. Except when Joe Musgrove made his illustrious start uh, not a week ago. And he went and he threw nine amazing innings of baseball where the other team did not get a single but, hit. Eric. Yeah. Why no San Diego Madres? They did that. <laughs> Did you know that they changed their name Day? to the uh, at San Diego Madres on Twitter uh, for Mother's Day, and but then because they did that, they lost the handle, and a guy jumped on <laughs> oh it. Oh my god! And then the guy went, "I'll just give it back to you. Just give me some tickets." And they gave him tickets. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they didn't think, yeah, to maybe uh, immediately set up that account. Listen, we're a pretty easygoing city, San Diego, <laughs> California. <laughs> Somebody went, "This will be funny." Oh, bro, we blew it. <laughs> pretty much that i like how his bargaining chip was just tickets yeah like instead of like (laughs) seat like full season no yeah no it was probably just like i don't know give me and my girl some tickets i'll get like a burrito and we'll be good to go (laughs) that's pretty much give me a five dollar voucher yeah i'm into it in chat uh c reed says no hitters in baseball is just one team playing catch yeah and we played catch so well on friday it was great it was beautiful it was beautiful joe musgrove san diego and east county san diego native where i grew up incredible he went to a rival high school Incredible, Eric. You're, I'm I'm not here to engage in this. <laughs> I don't know how to. We're I didn't drive We're all the, the way here to engage. In this. We're happy for you. We just don't care. <laughs> I don't know what else to do other than go. 
Nice. All right. Good, good job. You can't alt tab away from him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like, here, let, 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 if this if this was uh, a hell podcast, it's what I'd be doing. Is I... <laughs> <laughs> just, 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 just a window right over his face. Right I also, click mute. I forget how to like do facial reactions. Mm -hmm. What does that? Hang on. <laughs> what? <laughs> you weren't recording your face every week. No, but I mean, like, I'm used to if I'm talking, having the camera be on me when we do these like remote podcasts, and so. If someone else is talking, I'm not on camera. I don't have to oh, yeah, care yeah, about what my face is doing. Finishing a sentence, then you're like, yeah, and then we went there. <laughs> Until the camera's back on. So what happens when you talk to Trevor? You just go like slack? <laughs> you're just like, you go, yeah, well, so what do you want for dinner? Me. He can see me when he's talking to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm just like very aware of my face and what it's doing I'm right like, now. <laughs> it's a good face. You have a nice face. Yeah, you're Thanks, doing great. Guys. Just do what you've always done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, don't do that. That's wrong. I made a joke uh, to uh, Jordan, who's our GM, about how we're going to do the podcast in person on Monday, but we're only going to be staring into our cameras while we do it, <laughs> and how it's just going to be like we're doing it uh, at home. Oh, that would be, that would be so weird. I missed my bleep button. I can't yeah, talk about oh, podcast. Yeah. Where's my soundboard? <laughs> yeah, where's your uh, boop? Yeah, I'm, I got all, all my greatest hits. My Eric soundboard. Mm. I'm right here. Oh, okay. there, there you go. Mike's got it. Don't no, worry. we have someone else to do it for you. <laughs> he was faster than I. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mike, what you need is the uh, drum. What, yeah. what do you call the it? The rim shot. The rim shot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for Gus, anytime he makes a joke. Every every time we've got to run it into the ground. Um, yes. We, uh, I, I, in a roundabout way, the other day, I uh, I got a free pair of glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, uh, like win a fight? Like what? I, I was gonna say, did one, she like get, <laughs> buy drugs? Like yeah. this is what it sounds like. The guy was unconscious. After <laughs> run up to a guy, yoink. After I got vaccinated, like one of the first things I did was get an eye exam because I'm a big nerd and I needed new glasses. Yeah. So I got an eye exam, and uh, I had a pair of sunglasses that I keep in my car, and like I've had those sunglasses for so long that the like the coating on them was like falling off mm -hmm. from your sweat. No, because it gets so hot oh. here in the summer. And uh, so I was like, I'd, I'd only had those lenses in there for like two or three years. So uh, I got a new prescription. I took them down to the glasses place and I, I you know, gave them the frames. I was like, I want to get some new lenses in here. Here's my prescription. And they were like, okay, well, you know, these are old frames that you didn't buy from us. So we should just sign this waiver that uh, if they break, it's no fault of ours. Mm. I was like, yeah, that's fine. Kind of is, though. Yeah, no kidding. It really <laughs> is. Like, who else's fault would it be? <laughs> well, then the, the, the guy who has me right. filling out the form is like, how old are these glasses? Like, you know, two years? I go, oh, no, these frames are like, and I paused, I thought, they're like 11 years old. What the fuck? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. What? And uh, so they, they, they only, they've only stayed in my car, so they get super hot. You know, the, the, I've been through several lenses in them, but the frames themselves are like 11 years old. And uh, sure enough, like a week later, they call me like, yeah, um, your glasses broke. Uh, you, you know, what do you want to do? I was like, I'll, I'll come down there. So I went to the glasses store and they're like, yeah, you know, they showed me. It's like they broke right in like the like this part of the glass, right? This part of the frame broke. Mm -hmm. and they're like, uh, you can go pick out another set of frames. So I was like, all right. So I, w I went and I found the exact same Ray-Bans. I was like, the exact same glasses. Like, here, just uh, p put the lenses in these. Like, all right. And I was like, uh, so then I left and they called me earlier today and I went and picked them up right before I came here. I went and they're like, you guys are ready. They handed them to me. I was like, great. I tried them on. I was like, what do I owe you? They're like, oh, don't worry about it. Whoa. Oh, I mean, I, was like, I think that's what they should have done. Yeah, I mean, yeah but that's it's like awesome. the glasses are also like I told them they're 11, 11 years old. Years old. Sure. Like, so it's, I understand that on the verge. Yeah, yeah, it's old. It breaks like they didn't need to do that. I mean, I'm sure they make all their money that's on the lenses. Nice. If they broke there, I bet it was your acid sweat that we can. I agree. I'm with Gavin. Of it. I think they're in my car. I can get them if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to see your acid sweat glasses. So do you think that the guy was sentimental about like the 11 years and he was like, we should give him these for free? Like if you said like these are new frames, he would have been like this dumb shit. Why did <laughs> yeah. you buy these? This idiot. Like well, we were to make him pay again, moron. But 11 years, he's like, wow, I have like a dog that's 11 years old. Yeah. <laughs> he's on his way out. <laughs> uh, uh, man, yeah, so uh, free glasses. Wow. Awesome. Are they, those are the ones you're wearing right no, now? No, no, they're, they're my sunglasses. Oh. Yeah, so gotcha. they're, you'll, you won't notice because they're exactly the same yeah. as the old ones were. In, in 2032, we should see a new replacement for those probably. I'm looking so. forward yeah, to that, good. yeah. I also mm -hmm. don't know if I've seen you wearing sunglasses this last year because I've only really interacted yeah. with you yeah. via... You haven't because I only, I only ever wear them driving. Yeah. One time, did I ever tell you they got stolen once? Like, and face? you got them back? Well, no, no, what happened was I, I, bought, <laughs> I bought those Ray-Bans, those prescription sunglasses, and like a week or two after I bought them, 
Uh, I, it's like I said, I only wear them when I drive, so I keep them in the center console of my car. Mm-hmm. A week or two after I got them, I had uh, gone to a restaurant in downtown Austin, and it was the kind of place where you can't park. Like, they have to valet your, your car. Mm-hmm. So I gave my car to the valet, went in, ate, and uh, by the time I came out from the restaurant, it was night. The sun had set, so I went home. The next morning, I get into my car to drive somewhere, reach for my sunglasses, and they're not in the center console. <gasps> and I'm like, the car ate them. What the fuck? So I, I go back to the restaurant. <laughs> the only explanation. Mystery solved. <laughs> I go back to the restaurant. I'm kind of pissed. I'm like, you know, I got these brand new sunglasses and, uh, and they're gone. They're, and of course, they're like, well, did you misplace them? I'm like, no. Like, this is, this, right. is, this is where they live. They're only there. And so I went back and forth. I was like, your valet took them. Like, yep. that's, that, that's, that's, that's it, right? It's so like either have, yeah. the valet took them or they left my car unlocked and someone opened it up and went through my car and only took... My yeah, because it's not like you brought them in, into the restaurant. Because right. right. no, yeah, you never do that. I wouldn't do that. So I went back and forth. Eventually, like they cut me a check. I still had the receipt. Like I said, I had just bought them. I still wow. had the receipt for the glasses. So they cut me a check, and I bought a replacement pair. So I had this pair of sunglasses for eleven years, but the one before it was only like a week. So oh, it's really, oh, it's yeah, it's a real balance. There. So this is your third pair of right. <laughs> <laughs> this episode of the Receipt Podcast is brought to you by Purple. As the world gets more and more uncomfortable, we're all looking for as much comfort as we can get. Remember sitting in the middle seat on planes or making small talk with strangers at the grocery store? Not really the best examples for that, honestly. Uh, but thankfully, after those uncomfortable experiences, I can curl up in the comfort of my purple mattress. Purple is comfort reinvented. Only purple has the grid, a stretchy gel material that's amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips. The grid also means your purple mattress doesn't trap air, so you won't overheat in the night. The grid also bounces back as you toss and turn. It's better than memory foam because you don't get any of those annoying permanent craters and divots from that one night you slipped in an odd position. Seriously, the the grid is like magic. It's keeping me cool through the upcoming Texas heat. You don't worry about it. It's it's always cool, always comfortable. Uh, Right now, you can try your purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns plus financing options. Purple really is comfort for an uncomfortable world. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash rooster10. Use promo code rooster10. That's purple.com slash rooster and the number one and the number zero. Promo code rooster10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. That's purple.com slash rooster10. Promo code rooster10. Terms apply. Wow. That's so crazy. That valet was either like stoked when he realized that they were the right prescription or real bummed <laughs> yeah. when he put them on and he just went, what the uh, fuck? Were they, uh, was the case taken too or just yeah. the... Oh, okay. So oh, he didn't even so check. Yeah, he he Damn. Bullshit. Did you did you find them later? You can tell us. No, <laughs> no, okay. never. Like were, a John Wick situation. Their, That's their cool. Whoa. Hey, have you seen? Have you heard about this movie? Nobody. The John Wick, but it's Bob Odenkirk. No. What? No. <laughs> what? Is it? Is it out already, or is it coming? Out? I think it's out. I think it's out. Um, I don't know. I don't keep up with what's Nobody. in theaters at this point. Uh, it's but, in the theaters. Theaters. Uh, it's uh, it's just the premise is just John Wick, but it's Bob Odenkirk. And it's not a comedy. Is he? Oh, it's fighting? directed by the guy who did um, John Wick. <laughs> <laughs> Hardcore Henry. Oh, oh, oh yeah. like the the Russian guy. Yeah, Ilya yeah. uh, Nyshuller. That guy's so. I love that guy. I want to see this movie just because it's Bob Odenkirk doing John Wick shit, and that sounds tight as hell. Also, this looks like a good dad movie. Like John Wick is like What's a good a dad movie. Like a movie that your dad would be like, you would be over like, at his like, house, like Moneyball. Yeah, hey, that's a great. I'm I'm on the money with that one. Your dad would be scrolling, like just kind of like watching TV and just kind of like going through channels, and mm-hmm. then like Con Air would be on, uh, and then yeah. he would stop and be like, "All right, Con Air," and, but it's already like 25 minutes into it. Doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Doesn't matter how many times. Doesn't matter. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That this nobody movie looks like a great in like nine months. TNT is going to have this movie, and it's going to be a dad movie. I can feel it. That guy makes really great action. He's done some. Bob videos. Odenkirk? Yeah. He's <laughs> oh, no, the director. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tail of Everest the for the guy keeps falling into the cups in the background. Mr. That's Show? Really, yeah. Crazy action. It's awesome. The best. I did a, a crazy thing. Recently, um, it was uh, it was yesterday or the day before. Not important. Some friends had an Alamo screening to Batman, the, orig- the uh, Tim Burton Batman. Oh. So we were like, yeah, we'll go along. But I'd just seen it. I watched it like a month ago because I got I got it on like 4K Blu-ray, mm-hmm. and uh, I got in there and I was like 20 minutes in, I was like, oh, I don't want to watch this again. <laughs> like, I've, it's it's not a fun one to watch twice in the same month. Yeah. So I was just like kind of bored. I was like, yeah, I remember this part. And then I was like, I wonder if this will work. 
I pulled out my phone, I loaded up Plex, because I have a Plex server where I like rip movies to, I can watch them anywhere. And I was like, let me see if I can stream Batman to here. And I was like, oh, it's working. And I lined it up to where it was in the movie. I switched to the audio commentary and I put my AirPods in. And, I just, awesome. and I just listened to Tim Burton talk about how he made Batman. That's so smart. But, and, and I turned on the noise cancelling. So it like, it kind of muted all the sounds. It was amazing because I could feel all the sound, but I couldn't hear it. So I'm watching the Batmobile come through like, a, you know, everything's exploding. And I'm, I'm just like feeling like from the explosions. And Tim Burton's like... Yeah, we shot this in England. We did six day weeks. Dude, <laughs> it was like wow, a that's... really odd experience. And yeah. I was like, what? I Technology's amazing. That. You're and on the cutting edge. I had the idea while I was sat there. Wow. I've never do done that, that before. I'm Me too. Yeah. That I really like want to do I want to wear headphones, go to a big movie theater, <laughs> and watch Godzilla vs. Kong with whoever directed that movie. <laughs> it was the most <laughs> epic audio Crazy. commentary ever. Wow. <laughs> Who did direct that movie? I saw, I, I, I saw a movie this past weekend, that might be the worst movie I've ever seen. Ooh. Which makes me so sad because I was actually like thinking it might be fun to watch. Oh, okay, a hang Adam on. Adam Wingard directed uh, uh, Guys Over His Kong. And I hate to bad talk a movie like that. Because hmm. I, I, I know nobody- Do you want to have them guess what it is? Oh, sure. I'm trying. But I'm I know trying. nobody wants to make like a bad movie. Is this right. a new movie? And, yeah. Oh, okay. And I'm sure there are people who enjoy it. Furious, and that's the worst movie. No, no. I don't even know if you guys would have seen, yeah. like I haven't seen many advertisements for it. It yeah. came out recently. It's Trolls a comedy. <laughs> yeah. It's a live action movie. Yeah. Is Two the, women that, are the. Oh, uh, is this that Netflix movie? No. Oh, uh, oh, is this the Barb Star whatever? Yes. Oh, did you see that? Yes. What is it? Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. I've never heard of that. Rocco from Mega Sixty Four has had a real bone to pick with that movie since he saw the trailer for it like over a year yeah. ago during the Super Bowl where they don't show any faces and he's just like what the fuck is the point of this yeah I saw the trailer I've seen <laughs> the trailer so like well, they don't they show really... faces in the trailer they don't show no. they just show like the hair and like hands do you it's think they just so hadn't weird. cast it yet no no, no, no. it's them uh -huh. oh it's like the an intentional choice don't know why it's super yeah all the trailers are really weird the trailers don't even tell you really what the movie's about mm -hmm. because it makes no sense like, yeah from what I've seen it's just like a Five second clip from the movie is like the trailer. Yes. Where it's like out of context, random scene, and then like cuts to title yeah, it's screen. A, it's got Winter Soldier in it, a, yeah. But it's it has a strange, like, it's a strange movie. Kristen Wiig. Kristen right? Wiig, yeah. Yeah, so it's like she's great. And it was really shit. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to say, but man, I. <laughs> what was wrong I, with it? Like, I was not mad. Funny? Like, if I'd gone, I've, I've, I don't know if I've ever left a movie at, the, like, I don't know if I've ever gone to a movie at the theater and left and asked for my money back. I feel like if I'd gone to the theater and seen this, I would have asked for my money back. Wow. I, I mean, I've left movies. I've never asked for my money back. Um, I feel like that's they, my they normally give, I think they normally give you, a, well, Brian Gar told us they normally give you a pass to another movie. Mm. Um, yeah. It was just. <laughs> movie aficionado, Brian Gar. It was Gar. very. <laughs> I mean, yeah. He used, to, he used to work in the theater. <laughs> yeah. He, I did too. It's, it's just like. See? It was. In the Burger King? Yeah. <laughs> give you individual King, <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I don't use the word jokes loosely. Individual <laughs> jokes <laughs> that were <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah! that were strung together in with a like a, a, an overall plot that doesn't make any sense. It, it it was like they had these ideas for these characters, and then they went to go improv a movie, and then that's what I paid to watch. <laughs> oh, is it like dialogue do that does seem like it wasn't written, and people are just kind of like rambling on? Sometimes, and on? yes. Yeah. I've that must be like a, that. A, a, such a pain for an editor to edit movies where the, the director was like, just ad lib a bunch. It's yeah. like, right, but I have to make this make sense. Yeah. Right. And like, I, I, read, <laughs> I read the trivia for the movie on IMDb, and like, there's one scene early in the movie where they lose their jobs. The two main characters lose their jobs. And the trivia is like, they, there were six different versions of this scene where they lost their jobs for different reasons. It's like, why? Why? <laughs> why not just write a good one? Well, you ever, you ever watched a movie and then gone, you need no. to go to IMDb and check out the trivia for this thing. I hated it. Gotta see what the trivia is all about. <laughs> you never look at that? Gus? <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. Teach me about this thing it I was rated. It was rated 79% of Rotten Tomatoes. So uh -huh. I was like, I seen the trailer. I was like, it doesn't look like it's going to be that good. I saw the Rotten Tomatoes score. I was like, 79% yeah. is pretty good. Maybe like, I don't, wa audience, I don't want, I don't want, what's that? Audience score or... Critic score. Critic score. So it's like, wow. what was the audience score? Sixty-one percent, I think. Ooh. So it's like, <clears throat> maybe I was like, I didn't want to not see the movie because I was prejudiced against it because I didn't like the trailer. Sure. Uh, and so I gave it a shot, and man, I did not, I did not like that. I quite frequently look at trivia because there's some do. gems in there, Eric. I don't know if you've. This is my favorite piece of trivia. All right. Okay. It's for the sound of music. 
not sure if you've ever seen that. I, I read this when Christopher Plummer died, because he died like a yeah. couple months yes. ago. And he played Captain Von Trapp. This is a piece of trivia for the movie. Yes. Very little background information on the real Captain Von Trapp was known or available to Christopher Plummer. So he took to the Salzburg Mountains with an interpreter. There, they met with Jorg's nephew and asked him what the real man was like. The nephew told them he was the most boring man he'd ever met. <laughs> Wow. So what a waste really of, nice of piece fucking of time. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, here, okay. I have a real, I got a real problem. Is. I got a real problem he with method acting. <laughs> I have a, this is, this is the thing. I hate when Could've people are like, <laughs> oh, I'm a method actor. I have to get to the bottom of who this character was. Just act. <laughs> Pretend. You don't have to be in character. Well, well who was... Who was a real this person. man? Who was this man? Well, you see, he was the most boring man who ever <laughs> lived. Ah, uh, I'll take that in and I'll bring it to this Oscar-worthy performance. Just act! <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I there just is, love there... that what nowadays would be like a four-second phone call or one email. He had to <laughs> go all that way. And the guy was like, just boring, boring bastard, boring, to be honest. Dude. Enjoy. All right, uh, Cheers. See you later. I think that's great. He does. He got everything he deserved there. He got, I'm going to fly all the way. Yeah. So you don't like it when actors do research for their role? No, no, no. You can do research. You can that do was research. research. That is above and beyond and is not going to affect your performance. No one is going to go, I know that guy and that's exactly how he was. It's bullshit. That's like, uh, what was that? Uh, the big short. Uh, fucking, mm -hmm. uh, who was the, who, Batman? Christopher. Christopher uh, Bale. Yeah, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. <laughs> Fucking learned how to play drums for that movie because the guy he was playing played drums. I don't know him. I don't give a shit. Just act. Yeah, but he was probably thinking, I guess, a free drum lesson out of this. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, it's method shit. What did he do? <laughs> oh, okay. Did he also like a ton of booze? Yeah, yeah, yeah give me a lot of booze. Literally the only reason I want to be cast in a Marvel movie is so I get free training. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> just, I want a personal trainer. I want a nutritionist. I don't I'm, have to think about it. I'm about and to get they can find it if they want. <laughs> Man, I don't get the the whole, people like really fetishize like the like. Oh, I'm like a method actor. Yeah, to me that's. Well, I mean, I don't know anything about I mean, any of that, but it's like it's annoying when you hear about people who refuse to get out of character and yeah, they yeah. and their characters are complete bastard and they're yeah. just a bastard to all the crew, <laughs> even like character. in the canteen. Well, yep. It's like maybe. Maybe just like just switch it off while you eat while everyone's eating next to you. And yeah, you know. that's, that's the only time someone's a method actor is when they get to be an yes. asshole, right? Yeah, like, they're never no nice. No one's ever like the good method actor. <laughs> yeah, like, no oh yeah, he went around giving everyone money on yeah. set. Yeah, no like one method I, acts Mr. Rogers. Right. Yeah. I do understand wanting to understand about like little nuances that people had if they're like playing an actual real human being. Mm -hmm. I understand that. But staying in character and being a method actor and all that stuff, I never understood that. It, I just like... Do you ever hear the story? <clears throat> you ever hear the stories about Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman yeah. in that movie? Yeah. He didn't get it. It was Jim Carrey acting like Andy Kaufman wasn't doing a fucking character all the time. And he saw like Jerry the King Lawler on set because they had like a wrestling match or whatever. And Jerry Lawler would always tell these stories about like, yeah, Andy Kaufman was like the nicest guy and he understood wrestling and it was all a bit. Like we were just doing like a big production. But Jim Carrey would like sneer at me and be like mad and he's like i'm gonna get you jerry lawler and he was never nice and he was never fun to be around and it was miserable to shoot and it's like Ugh. jim carrey doesn't fucking get he doesn't understand he's method acting and he he's doesn't get what the fuck he's, he's doing method acting as the character exactly. not as andy kaufman it's oh god that's exhausting that sucks what would, have so been, mad. what would have been the worst jim carrey role if he went method on it like the mask, the Grink, the Grinch, the Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, holiday 2021, starring Jim Carrey, the Grink. How the Grink stole Christmas. <laughs> <sighs> the worst oh, man. I don't know. Like he hasn't played a lot of like terrible, terrible people. Oh. Well, I guess Ace, he was kind of a Ace shit Ventura, person in Liar Liar. Ace Ventura in the second movie is oh. a complete psychopath. Oh. This is, oh, dude, like, no, that's the answer. It's Ace Ventura. Never, he's not a normal bloke for, for even like five seconds. He, at least in the first Ace Ventura, he has moments where he's like, all right, sorry, I was a bit of a dick there, blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, and yeah. you can see his motive, he's broken. The second one. He's just full lost, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. He's gone. We talked about this on uh, Bleep Face, I think, once. It's the mask. If he was, like, as green... The yeah, Man. the mask version. Like of they his they character. yell cut and he just keeps <laughs> somebody. Oh yeah, they yell cut. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
and it's pretty, everyone on pretty, set pretty. the third or fourth weekend going, I wish somebody would fucking stop him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Every day he shows just, up, he's just, they called me. Yeah. Me. <laughs> I'm just just kidding <laughs> around. And he's like, Jim, can you, Jim, please, stop. you knock it over all the, oh, Jim, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I want to watch the mask movie. again. I love that it's movie. It's my favorite movie. Oh, man. This episode of the Received Podcast is brought to you by Felix Gray. Our eyes are just not meant to look at screens as much as we do. The blue light can mess with our internal balance, affecting our sleep, causing stress, headaches, blurry vision, eye fatigue. Trust me, I sit on my computer all day, then mess around my phone, watch TV, play video games at night, and I'm exposed to a ton of blue light. And I know tons of people who tell me they get headaches and constant tired eyes until they start wearing their Felix Gray glasses. Thankfully, Felix Gray's glasses filter 15 times more than average blue light lenses. Uh, super cool to not have fatigued eyes, especially, you know, I know some of us who are making content all day, spend tons of time in front of a screen. Uh, I know plenty of people here who, uh, who use them. Uh, I mean, finally, a pair of glasses designed for the 21st century. Felix Grey glasses filter 15 times more blue light from screens and other clear blue light lenses out there. They also have sleep glasses, which were specifically designed to dramatically relieve daily eye strain and were designed for late night screen time to help improve sleep. So go on over to felixgrayglassescom slash rooster to shop glasses that work as hard as you do. That's F-E-L-I-X-G-R-A-Y glasses.com slash rooster. Free shipping, free exchanges, 30-day money-back guarantees. Go to felixgrayglassescom slash rooster. I uh, I started watching Invincible on Amazon Prime. Mm. It's that animated like superhero mm-hmm. show. Mm. Uh, is anybody? Are you watching that? I guess. Uh, no, I uh, I read the comic. Read the comic. So I just haven't. I haven't watched the show. But it's really good. I, I heard. Only, I heard it like holds pretty firm with it. So it's like I'm excited. There's five episodes out so far. I've seen the first four. Uh, it's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like uh, like a teenage kid in high school. Basically, like his dad is Superman. Yeah. Uh, that comes from another planet. He can fly. It's like, super strong and everything. And it's like. He's going to develop powers. And then, mm-hmm. like, in the first episode, like, oh, my powers are starting to come in, you know? So his dad's, like, teaching him how to be a superhero. That's cool. Um, yeah. It goes a lot further. Does it get it, dark? It, yes. Absolutely. So it's kind of like, <laughs> is that why you stop telling? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I tried to, yeah. so there's, the, at the end of episode one, minor spoiler for the first episode. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of superheroes in the world. And there's, like, an Avengers team. They call them the Guardians of the Globe. Mm hmm. At the end of the first episode, the kid's dad goes and kills all of them. Yeah. And <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. And like is trying to cover it up. And it's like the whole time you're like it's like watching Superman like kill purpose, the, put purpose Yes. It's yeah. like watching Superman show up to the Justice League and kill them all. It, that yeah. would have been a better movie, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean that it gives me major the boys vibes, which it, you guys have so all it, seen. So it came out around the same time no. when Invincible oh, was coming out, the it. boys was coming out, the comic, and it was like they were very much kind of like, we'll take the story and then flip it upside down. And they both did it in really kind of like different ways, mm-hmm. but in very like both, man, both like the first probably like 15 issues of both of those comics are so like so good. If you like the boys, I really recommend it. I really like the boys. Yeah. I think you would eat like for an animated piece. I think it's really, I think you're really going to like it. Yeah. Yeah. The, man, what a grisly yeah. fucking comic. Yeah, and that it, is. Gets, <laughs> it gets it like the curse and it yep. gets really graphic like some of the fight and they deal with that a lot like like trying to make if superheroes were real like it's not all like how you see in the movie like it's gory you know sometimes like 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 invincible like the kid invincible like he's trying to save some old woman and like she gets really hurt like her legs broken and she's all bloody like has Mm -hmm. to take her to the hospital and he's like like is she gonna live like we don't know you know like that kind of stuff like and he tells his father like you never told me how dirty it is like yeah. being a superhero that's like, a good way to put it dirty is like really what these comics look like there was kind of like that time where walking dead was still like the comics were still really going and everything and invincible was a really big thing and and the boys and they were all very like man just really gritty dirty ugly kind of comics and man yeah. they're really good i still i still remember when we were watching the boys for the first time because i knew it was like a little more of a graphic show <laughs> but it's essentially that same premise of if superheroes actually lived in the mm-hmm. real world, like how it would it be? But there was one scene where like, I think someone's skull got just like crushed. Mm-hmm. And I remember thinking like, this is, or no, no, it was like the first episode. It's going to be a spoiler, but the show has been out for a while yeah. where someone's significant other is standing on the street. And then someone with super speed oh, runs by yeah. and she explodes essentially. Oh, they mm-hmm. just like clipped her. Yeah. Yeah. But to her, like fucking her guts <laughs> spew everywhere. She uh, is eviscerated immediately. And I was just very taken aback thinking, 
oh, so that's what they meant by gory. Yeah. Like, yeah. actual well, it's gore. Like, it's like in all the Superman movies where, like, someone's fallen out of a building. He comes flying in and grabs them. It's like they would fly into a billion <laughs> pieces. Yeah. They would be dust. Yeah. He's yeah, Superman. Like, in, uh, I see in, like, himself. Some then. of the X-Men movies, like, when Quicksilver has to save people, he's always like, I have to hold your head. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but it's always like there's a bullet moving at this speed, and then he just moves someone. It's like their brain hit the inside of their skull and is now paste. <laughs> yeah. It's like you can't do that. You can't yeah. move anyone. Uh, Maybe move the bullet instead. <laughs> it, it feels like there's a real kind of kick toward, and I hope the rubber band is kind of bouncing back. There's a real kick toward, like, this has to be visceral and, like, real, and this is what it would be like in the real world. And I'll give credit to the Godzilla versus Kong movie where it was like the death count is way high, oh, but dude. you never see it, and it is a big cartoon. People die like that, and buildings are getting knocked yeah. over. It's fucking what It's just Godzilla goes, fuck this bridge that's how in I know particular. I <laughs> fucking <laughs> destroys it, and cars are I just falling. That dude, that's that how awesome. I know I'm, I'm now too old for those movies. Because yeah. the whole time I was watching, I was going, oh my god, think of all the people in that apartment yeah. building yeah. he just yeah. knocked over, like, people just enjoying their Saturday night, and oh my god. I was oh, thinking then the crashes. exact same thing. <laughs> I was, I'm on the exact claims. same page. Yeah. Yeah. I, I saw someone... Who's uh, gonna clean this up? <laughs> so, someone on social media wrote something like, uh, Millie Bobby Brown's character in that movie is an anti-vaccine QAnon believer. Oh, yeah, why, that, why are we all okay with this? Dude, that was Zoe. Zoe works in, like, sales. Oh, it was, she, yeah. yeah. And it was, she does No Dumb Answers, which you should check out. Uh, yeah. uh, check out No Dumb Answers with Mark and Brad. Great show. Uh, that tweet is so good, and that's exactly what that character was, and I couldn't figure out why I hated her the whole time. Oh, every single character in that movie, besides Godzilla and Kong, are useless. Yeah, they all <laughs> suck. They didn't need to have humans in that yeah, movie. I mean, was it, it uh, been... uh, Paris? Uh, who we've done some stuff with, Paris Lily. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on social media. He, I think he wrote that, uh, he put. A, he made a tweet that he watched, he did a rewatch of the movie and just fast forwarded off all the human parts. Yeah. Where I was like, yeah. it was just monsters. Dude. Just want to see action. <laughs> like, oh, a much better, it, much better movie. The, the thing that I heard about this movie is like, well, there are like a lot of fights. Like, there are a bunch of fights. I watched that movie. There are a good amount of fights. There are not enough fights in that movie. Every time no one is fighting, you just go, they could be but fighting. But when are they right going to be fighting? Someone punches them. What, <laughs> what if the monkey fought the lizard? And one of, and one of the fights isn't even that good. Like, when no. they're on the boats? I agree. I like, thought there, there are, like, one or two parts on that where you're like, whoa, this is tight. And then the rest of it's like, get out of the water. Right, it's like, get go, out go to the land. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's fight. <laughs> so funny. I'm also always so confused when there's a, a part in a movie plot where there's an adult who's working with kids. It, yeah. And I'm thinking, is no one going to be like, Maybe don't hang out with that strange man. <laughs> like that's not that's a weird thing, and that he's totally cool hanging out with a bunch of like young kids. Yeah, they travel like around the world in that movie very fast. <laughs> it, it was, yeah, uh, we we were watching that movie, and you know at the very end that Millie Bobby Brown's in mm -hmm. Hong Kong. Uh, we were, I was watching that movie with Esther. She's like, oh, is this going to be like that Simpsons episode where Bart's a courier yeah. and the <laughs> Brothers Kenner sees him in Hong Kong? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say I'll give that credit. I'll give that movie all the credit in the world for taking out the most boring part of movies where they go. You have to turn off all the power. And then somebody goes, what do you mean? They go, if you turn off all the power, then this, this, and this will happen. We can't do that. We have to stay. We have to keep all the power on. And the argument there, this movie happens where the boat gets flipped upside down and then flipped the backside up. And they just go, turn off the power. And the guy goes, turn off all the power. And it's over. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, great. We took off all the middle. Oh, yeah. they, they did that. And, and I will say, when I was watching, I was like, in my mind, I was like, how long would it? take yeah. to shut down a battleship like that like if you were on like a, a like a war vessel yep. like a battleship Blink. in the ocean and like the captain comes on the radio like turn off the boat like is that like an hour like how long does it take to yeah. shut down Surely a boat a, like, a how many people how many different floors like yeah. Yeah. where are all the buttons yeah like, how, yeah how no, they're just one you... master clicker yeah. <laughs> nope. i bet i bet like on a cruise ship that would be the most extreme so, like how do you turn off an entire oh cruise that ship? would be i don't think it probably could be done and could it even be done, done by yeah. one person i don't even know if it well i'm sure it could be done if it needed to but like yeah cruise ships are fucking huge yeah well, we were talking about it i think we talked about it after the podcast ended one week but apparently during covid the ones that they couldn't use it's so much effort to turn off a cruise ship and turn it back on, on. Yeah. they just leave them on just wow. out i think we did talk about in the sea yeah, yeah. The that's crazy because it's okay. like the rad zones like and on its own grid and like you can just kiss boys there it's fucking nuts mm -hmm. call back <laughs> Why My first kiss those... was at the front of the boat, not in the red zone. Okay. Why did they bring those ships to Texas and hook them up to the grid <laughs> back in February uh... and kept us uh, with power? Dude. Yeah, we, we got no power. This is a shitload of empty cruise ships. Look, we're still, still, there. Machines we're still having a problem. This bar sign doesn't even turn on anymore. What oh, the? Oh, shit. We got to update the opening oh. graphic. Yep. 
Dude, I'm... Where did you just turn off? <laughs> I looked at the picture we tweeted from the Rooster Teeth account. I don't know if we could pull it up, but, like... I don't know about you guys. I've been getting no sun this entire year. Yeah. My shoes are the same color as my calves. Mm. That's just all white. Oh, we can white balance off of that now. I-, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I saw the picture we tweeted and I'm just like, oh my God, this is, I got to get some vitamin D. I have been going outside more in probably the last year than I have in like the last five. Yeah, uh, that's complete opposite to it, me. <laughs> I am like going out and it's just like, Give give me a baseball and a bat and let me just get in like a field. We're hopping fences. I don't care. Like, Going crazy. It feels so good being out in the sun for like just a few hours. You're young yeah. again. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking great. That, this is walks. my midlife crisis. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna go hop a fence and play baseball. Get drunk on a little league field. It's great. <laughs> Where does it go? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I was uh, about how I went out. Did I, what did I do outside? Yeah, I just went on walks. Yeah. You go on walks. Yeah. I don't walk. You ride Why your not? bike. I just, I, because like, by the time I'm done the work day, I just want to do nothing. And for some reason, like going on a walk seems like something. I've even gone on night walks. Whoa. You don't get any sun from that. No, I know. Well, you get a little bit off the moon. Probably. Yeah, you get moon. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of moon. <laughs> Can you get a tad off the moon? Oh, boy. I with, a, we... with enough magnifying glasses. Baby, we're, <laughs> well, Rooster <laughs> Podcast, baby, we're back. <laughs> Can you get Someone's a tan off the moon? <laughs> has magnified the moon and given themselves a tan. I bet it's happened. I don't think it's. I don't think it's bright enough. What but... percent of the sun is the moon? Good. In, now in yeah, brightness. Um, people, back. people. Whoa. Can... Whoa, Barbara. See, look at my fucking calves. <laughs> I was like, am I wearing socks? What is that? <laughs> I love the idea of like a, a boat at night. These, these scenes. Just, Barbara, stick one of your legs over the side. <laughs> You, you cannot get a tan off the moon. Who says? Science. Oh, okay. There you go. I'll accept it. So uh, I have a question for you guys. Damn. <gasps> I don't know if I'm allowed to change subjects. Or oh, or God, yeah. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Change the subject all you want, Barbara. It, it doesn't, sorry, reflect, it doesn't oh, yeah. reflect ultraviolet light. It reflects there the light. There you go. Wait, so the moon absorbs ultraviolet? It just doesn't We get should get more moons. Why isn't the moon tanned? Barbara, go ahead. <laughs> Go I mean, it's a dark gray color. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, go ahead. Uh, okay, so I have a couple questions that I want to pose to the group. Oh, these are it. these are questions that have come up with me and Trevor at home, and all we have. You are, can't are each other take us on another spoon journey. You it. just Listen, can't do it. These, what I kind think of these are that was four weeks of content. Some of these are that. popular debates, so okay. I, it's not going to come as like a surprise. So the first one is actually more specific to me in general. I had a stuffed animal as a kid that was a bear, mm-hmm. and this bear had like a little like sleepy night cap and then bunny slippers on it. Okay. So I called it Sleepy Bear because I was very creative as mm-hmm. a kid. And then Trevor goes, well, so it had four bunny slippers? And I went, no, it had bunny slippers on its feet. Mm-hmm. And he goes, well, aren't it's these also feet? Uh-huh. And so if you if I said I have a stuffed animal bear that has bunny slippers, what would you think? It's got two. 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 Okay. A thank stuffed, you. Because the important thing there is a stuffed animal bear. If it was, if you it's said like I this, have right? a real bear, yeah. If you said I have a real bear with bunny slippers, you better show me a bear with four slippers. No. Yeah. Two. Because bear. bears, bears have hands. Bears have hand paws. But they, they, what's they the don't... difference between the two? Because I was wondering about this too. I was like, are they just four feet no. that all look the same, these, or are these different? Think about it. Like, think about a bear. Like. Eating honey, or like going after a okay. <laughs> like a beehive. Yeah. Uh-huh. it's not going to use its feet. It's going to use its <laughs> but, hands. But to could get it? No, it's going to use its feet to climb up the tree. Well, are you saying? Are you saying that a bear's? Well, how many fingers does a bear have? I'm going to assume five per paw. Because like a cat, all bears have paws. A cat has of five. Of course, no one's yeah, arguing that, dude. Are those also paws? Yeah, but they're different. Like a cat has five uh, front claws, but eight back ones. Do bears so, like, have a different foot. hands? Yeah. They lack thumbs on their front limbs. Wait, hang on. They lack thumbs, so their front limbs aren't arms. They are feet. <laughs> arms <laughs> have hands attached. They're not arms. A gorilla feet. has arms because they have fully articulated thumbs, thumbs and are define, able to manipulate. Thumbs don't define hands. Dude, if you lost <laughs> your thumb, you'd have three all... legs. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're walking on all four. But, but what they're listen, saying. I agree with you, you know, guys. I'm just saying I don't like that definition. Yeah. That definition is bullshit. So well, this is only an arm because there's a thumb here. Right. If you if you lose your hand, it's not an arm then anymore. You have, you have a, a leg. You have yeah. a leg. <laughs> you have a peg leg. You can be a, a pirate <laughs> if you lose your hand. <laughs> what if you just lose your thumb? Pirate. Then you, then you got a foot. <laughs> it's a got a foot. Thumb. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is feet. Look, yeah, I mean, this is feet. Hang on. This is feet. 
There you go. I blew Eric's mind the other day when he I said that nice. most languages refer to toes oh. as foot fingers. Can you believe this shit? How do you say toes in French? I don't know. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> said, uh, well, I mean, everything's got better these names. Are, these are trois. That's fingers. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I imagine these aren't trois. <laughs> I think I read I somewhere that the Chinese word... Doigt de pied. What? D-O-I-G-T? Doigt? That's doigt. Doigt uh -huh. de pied. Fingers of the foot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's fingers of the foot. <laughs> Almost every language, it's foot fingers. What the foot fuck? Foot fingers. Invent a word, bro. What the fuck? I read that the Chinese word for penguin translates to <laughs> business goose. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a goose wearing a tuxedo. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Can we get a business true. goose shirt? It, it just please? sounds good. It's like one of those facts that's like, even if it's not true, I want to remember it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um so to to summarize, we're on your side yeah. of the, the bear. Okay, Trevor's wrong. Trevor surely doesn't think uh, the front foot of he a bear. He thinks it has four, four feet. But then a teddy bear's never on all fours. I think Trevor it? was just doing the trevor thing where he just wanted to pose an alternative sure. to yeah. what i thought was reality oh, uh, um, the, the word you're looking for is argue <laughs> no <laughs> you made a lot of, that's like a gentle that's disagreement fingers of the feet that you're you just say argue it's fine all right well that was the first one the next one these are these are more popular ones you have a giraffe mm -hmm. okay it's wearing a turtleneck mm -hmm. does the turtleneck come up to its head or just kind of a, a little bit up onto its neck. The whole point of a turtleneck, though, is yeah. that it, it meets the chin. Yeah, it's got to go up to the head. So it covers the whole neck. Yeah, it has yeah. to. Okay. It's that's... agreed. There, there, there's no question. We these aren't necessarily ones we disagreed on. Okay. It was just questions we posed Trevor to each other. Trevor said it only goes up a little Absolutely. bit. Absolutely, know it. You have a dog. <laughs> I do. This dog is wearing pants. He you got that? Does. does it cover f all four legs and go up to like halfway on the body, or does it only cover its hind legs? I've no. seen a good diagram the, for this one. Actually. The, the okay. point of pants is to cover <laughs> junk, so it only covers the back. Gus legs. is right, absolutely, hundred percent. Isn't it to cover legs? That's that's the side benefit. <laughs> no, it's 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 got to be the it's just the hind legs. Yeah, just I've the hind, seen just I've the seen a lot legs. of videos of dogs wearing pants, and they're just the hind it's legs. The hind legs. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Final question. Mm -hmm. Cyclops. How does he cry? Is it one tear that goes down the middle of the eye, or does it come out the sides of either of its eyes? Oh, God. Um, it's going to come out the sides so much of both better than eyes. The other <laughs> That's actually one that Trevor thought of. So. That's a good one. <laughs> it's the sides of both eyes, I think. Well, the eyelid pushes it to the side, I think. Yeah. Or the, the, where, like, the, the duct. Okay. It, like, it's, like, so it down there. Cry well, I mean... If the tear duct was in the middle, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we tend to cry out of the, one of the corners, right? Yeah. That would be yeah. crazy if it just was the middle and it rolled just down his nose and into his <laughs> mouth and he could drink his own tears. And then it was just sort of like a never-ending cycle. <laughs> That'd be weird. Uh, I like these. Uh, yeah. Little, uh, Do you have any more? We'll these are great. That, that's all I have for today. Oh, okay. but... uh, and I confirmed, uh, in Mandarin, it is business goose. <laughs> 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 I love that that's real. That's so there's crazy. Also, there's another language... I want to say it was maybe Mandarin or maybe Cantonese. Yeah, I guess where, Chinese is too vague yeah. for yeah, that the, fact. Where they were saying, like, the way that, like, it's really easy to learn because once you learn, like, the base, what, like, a certain letter represents, they add something, like, it was, like, something that had a slash through it to indicate that it was, like, half of it. Mm. And it was, like, basically, like, a picture of the letter would indicate what the word was. I forget what language it was, hmm. but... This is a great story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's I, going a lot of places. <laughs> I, uh, I I don't know why a couple weeks ago I was I was reading up on the differences between Mandarin and Cantonese. I was trying to understand um, the differences between the languages, and I guess people there's a saying uh, amongst people who speak Cantonese. I think they say that like people who speak Mandarin trying to talk to people who speak Cantonese is like the chicken trying to talk to the duck. That's like <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. And I was like, oh, that's a that's a kind of a cool. Uh, that's cool. Uh, saying but i guess like one of them has like their tonal languages and one of them has business duck? four tones and one of them has seven <laughs> tones uh so they're sim very, very similar but how many tones uh, does english different. have english is not a tonal language oh my parents would disagree right <laughs> don't use that tone with me. <laughs> <laughs> imagine it was funny it's not a tonal language, is that a tonal <laughs> language? go to your room oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Go to your room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, we use that tone. Mom, stop. We were, we, we were in a meeting earlier today, and Blaine kept 
putting emphasis on weird words? <laughs> yeah, he said he's like, I'm just, I'm yeah, sorry guys for the noise. I'm just making something cold brew. Like what the way the fuck? he emphasized what brew. What the fuck? And he kept saying like he not on purpose. He kept just having sentences where he was putting the emphasis on a weird word. Yeah. And we were like, Blaine, are you okay? Like <laughs> the answer is no. I don't One of us well. are okay. <laughs> That's weird. Cold brew. Cold brew. Yeah. Uh, so it was so strange. It's uh, weird. Like just having putting the emphasis on like. Not even just like this, a wrong, a weird syllable, but a weird word in a sentence. Makes was he it sound just having like some so weird different. bet with Chris and they were saying who could? I don't know. No, absolutely not. These are just these people all the time. That's just us. Uh, Blaine has been talking about his hair because his also got really long. Oh, so long. In quarantine, you've yeah. seen him yeah. recently. And he's just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about keeping it. And in the back of my mind, Blaine, you, you might be watching right now. You should cut your hair. You should. Oh, why? Hey. Because I, I think. Especially if you're in the dating world, more people I think would be into the clean hair look that mm -hmm. he gets going versus the long hair. I think he, there's this. Yeah, I think some people really pull off the long hair well. Some people they pull it off okay, and some people don't. Mm. All right, Damn. Ca camera on me. Hey Blaine, I think you look great, man. I, I think, think Blaine looks. Great. I think you no, look... no, you have to let me finish. I think you, you had your say, well. Barbara, and now we're we talked about not interrupting one another. So, here's the thing. Blaine, get some conditioner. You're going to get that mane looking ooh, right. It's going to be looking good. Pull it back in a bun. Ooh, you're going to be looking so cool. Do two buns in the back like a samurai. Chat. Here's the thing about Blaine, right? Uh -huh. Very good looking guy. Very good looking guy. Yep. In great shape. He cuts his hair. He looks like all the other really buff, good looking dudes. Mm. With his hair, he's like the really buff, good looking dude, but with an edge that is a bit different. And I think... A bit manic. <laughs> yeah, you never, you never know what you're gonna get. Right, right. So I think he should keep it. I think it, you know, I might be off base here, Blaine. I think the long hair does look good on you. I, if you want to keep it, <laughs> but I, I think it's the compare or it's the combination of the long hair. He's super buff, and he works out in these like bright pink Converse shoes, and mm -hmm. he just like screams. He just looks all like a buff dude from the '80s, and yeah. I think that's his vibe. Okay, yeah. that's very he true. That's very true. I still think he should have two buns in the back like a samurai. <laughs> I just think he should do. I get the man bun. Like if you're gonna go long, go yeah, long. Do, back, do, uh, do one on the top, and then you do a second one that's on the back, and then people are like, "Whoa, what's this guy's deal?" The, the unfortunate <laughs> yeah. thing, my What's hair, wrong with him? My hair when I got it cut was almost the perfect length for long hair. It almost. wasn't quite long enough because the ponytail didn't work unless it was on the top of my head. If I had know. it on the back, the front bits here wouldn't quite stay oh. in, and I'd turn my head a few times, and then they'd be like yeah. this, just right over my eyes. Like a annoying. Crying. And I was <laughs> You are you are you are speaking to every person who's had long hair and has been in that awkward middle stage if they cut it and they yeah. want to put it into a ponytail and they just can't. And I, I remember that from when I grew my hair when I was fifteen. I was like, Yeah, you really gotta push through this and I did back then push all the way through and it was a piece just of piss to have that. A front ponytail and a back ponytail oh. until it's long enough. The only way I could do it was to have two, like uh Star Wars. Yeah, or so you just use like clips. Bobby pins. Mm. Yeah, that's like just that. an annoying. Yeah, that's a, that's extra work, extra maintenance that you shouldn't have to. Dude, today had a shower, used like that much shampoo. Oh, <laughs> it was dry in like four minutes. It was amazing. Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm at the point I have to shampoo three times. <laughs> yeah, like because yeah. I haven't cut my hair either since quarantine started, and yeah. it's just like it's also grown exponentially this way. So it's a lot of when, shampoo. When, I I don't mean this to be like. An insult or anything, Lay it on but me. when you do that, it just makes me think of cousin it from the Adam family. <laughs> <laughs> like it's, it's just so much. Whoa, yeah, no cool. offense, but you look like a hideous hair monster. <laughs> from the Adam. We don't know if he's hideous. Oh. All we know he has yep. is he has a lot of hair. That's it. I like it. it that reference. Uh, whether you say someone looks like cousin it or the girl from the ring will only depend on what color their hair is. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Because if I had black hair, it would have yep. been mm. the girl from the do ring. Do you consider cutting your own bangs? Uh, at least once a week. Ooh, I think you should do it. I've done it before. Oh, you should do it again. I've actually done it like two or three times, and it's actually worked out See? for me. Why is it? But I, I regret know. it every time, I and I seeing, still do it again. I keep seeing videos of people grabbing all the front of their hair, yeah. pulling it down, yeah. cutting oh, across God. the front, and then it goes like, and they're like, oh, no, but Dude. why is everyone, what's the good outcome for that? <laughs> they they like, want it to be like straight bangs. Yes. What they need to do, and if you're watching at home and want to cut your bangs, let me give you a quick tutorial. You Tweet at us if you do that, by the way, please. If you your, cut your own bangs, I would love to see put it. Put your hair all in front. Make sure it's, like, mostly dry and straight. You don't want to do this with, like, your hair wavy. Make a triangle. Find, like, a place you want your bangs to start. Make a triangle. Put the rest of your hair back. You get this little piece, all right? You twist it, and then you cut like that because that'll give you this. 
Wow. It won't give you this. It'll give you the layer. Damn, that why was actually a lot more impressive you, than I thought. Why it was didn't gonna... you do that? I didn't know the information. <laughs> Wait till the day after my hair's gone. <laughs> we blew it. You could have had you, you curtain have bangs. bangs. <laughs> it would have been awesome. You could have uh. had like a Lady Gaga poker face style like front bang. That would have been cool, right? Yeah, you could have done so much stuff before Bangs. you cut all your hair off. Yeah. We could have given you like one of those like Lord Farquaad. Oh. I thought I thought about all the the funny things I could do. I thought about like using it in content, like being on camera, walking off, coming back, it's gone. And then I thought, get this freaking hair off my head <laughs> as soon as possible. It's pissing me off. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you for that. Uh, but we're, we're edging. We're edging slowly. Are we back to normalcy? Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, I'm still very surprised when I walk past the mirror, but other than that, I think it's mm. yeah, it's a good direction. Do you think a lot's gonna when people talk about getting back to normalcy? It's like, do you think a lot's gonna change? Because it doesn't feel like a lot's gonna change. What do you mean by that? I like it, change from how it was or how it is now. No, 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 from from how it was. Because I remember when this started and we were kind of like getting in like the thick of it. And people were like, "Well, we're not gonna shake hands anymore," and I just keep thinking like, "You're out of your fucking mind for thinking that." And then people are like, "Well, sports stadiums are like, there's no way they're gonna keep doing sports." It's like they never fucking stopped. Right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what do you think? What are you taught? Like they never stopped doing them to have people there. The opening so, day for the Rangers baseball game was fucking you packed. Fucking see that? Yeah. So like, how much do you think effectively is like? Yeah, I think people like wash their hands more, I guess. But like, I think I, masks will become a little more popular when traveling. I yeah. think like oh that's good yeah. yeah which I think is actually a good thing because I mean I haven't gotten sick this year yeah. from wearing the mask at all but also just traveling I think it's going to become a little more normal. Mm -hmm. um, I know in places like Japan like people have yeah. already been doing that for. There's a really plenty long of places time. around the world where it's yeah. common. I think that and the other long term effect I think we'll see is that I feel like some places of work are going to switch to more remote working more often. Seeing how cheap it could be without having to have real estate and stuff like that. Right. Or like physical work locations, mm -hmm. which is crazy. That's it. Man, I'm coming in once a week them. for the podcast Monday <laughs> from five to seven. That's all you get. Well, it's also possible that we might adjust to like a mix between working from home and working in person because yeah. some of the stuff we've been able to do just fine from home. Well, I it's think it's not that, ideal, but you know, I think we've talked about this too, where the working from home schedule allows you, as weird as it sounds, it allows you to create more <clears> in a <throat> in a shorter amount of time because I'm not having to go between this studio and that office and this place over here Set and then a meeting for that I, yeah i have the cameras on the lights are on do this thing do this but, thing do this thing have a meeting more content i don't have to drive anywhere i don't have to go to the other office i don't have to go do anything but i will say the downside is it doesn't let you see other things that people are working on like it, it makes collaboration more difficult yeah. like yes. before when we were all working in the other building over here it's like i could walk by someone's office be like you know hey what are you working on oh you know you want to check this out this cut oh Yo, this edit yeah that's yeah. great you know you yeah, know, and just easy. Just like, hey, grab, come on over. Let's do this thing. Oh yeah, collaborating with people who don't live here has right. been a lot easier. That's, that That's true. true. And yeah. so, like, collaboration in that sense has been good. The, the thing I think I miss the most <clears throat> is that the walking in the hall, like, quick, like, I have a question, you have an answer, kind of like quick thing. Like, I haven't seen Nicholas in forever, and then now it's like, I, okay, this is an easy way to just go. Hey, do you? <laughs> hey, this thing. Hey, okay, cool, quick. This just like quick little off the cuff. There should be a section of Slack where, like, you as you move between Slack channels, you have to go into the Slack hallway and you see everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go, everyone has their hey, little icons. <laughs> yeah, and you have like a set amount of time to talk to them before they leave the hallway, and you're like, hey, what's up? Hey, what, how you been? And you can stay in there if you want, or, yeah. and then you just go into the new. I love that and hate it. If there was just a setting where, you know, normally right now you have when in your direct messages pane, it's people you've recently communicated with, yeah. whether they're online or not. If you have the option in your settings to be like, rather than show me people I've recently communicated with, show me people who are online and active right now. Oh, I like that. That way, as they're active, they're popping yeah. up to the top oh. of the list and be like, oh, I needed to talk oh. to that person. It's like still that kind of discovery <laughs> As if thing. any of us, or any of you, rather, <laughs> go and just message someone randomly. Hey, what's up? Yeah, me and Daniel Portman just kind of banging it up. I would like that. Well, I mean, I wouldn't unless, like, I saw someone's name and it reminded me to ask about something. Like, yeah, true. I recorded something this morning with, uh, with, with Blaine, and when I oh, woke really? up this morning, I thought, shit, I forgot to send him a message on Sunday to get him mm. to tell him to prepare for what we were doing today. Um... You know, and I, ideally he probably wouldn't have been on Slack on Sunday, but it's still yeah, like yeah. if I had seen his name in a messaging program, I'd be like, oh, right, Blaine, I need to tell him that thing. Yeah. Now, instead of just like running into someone in the hall and asking them a quick <clears throat> question or like stopping by their desk, you have to make a fucking hour meeting yes. yeah. for everything. And, and it feels, I had this conversation with Patrick last week where a quick conversation where you could just go to someone and go like, so hang on, what the fuck is up? Hang, yeah. what, what happened? It, now it is a, 
okay, let's anticipate this thing for two days because that's when we're both free. So we both have to dread having this conversation about like a, a thing that could easily be solved face to face. I don't understand how you can't just Slack someone though. Like if I have to talk to you about work, uh -huh. I'll just type the entire question into Slack uh -huh. and then you answer it. Job done. Right. For the that's most... based on our like... schedules. Yeah. And but not... there, there's sometimes misunderstandings can happen yep. from text. And I, I know I've been guilty of that, where mm -hmm. I'll get a message and I'll, I'll just interpret it the totally wrong way. I'll get pissed off. Then I'll talk to the person like, oh, yeah, it's no big deal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I overreacted. <laughs> that, that's my fault. I'm yeah. fired up. Fuck you. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I was wrong. Oh, never mind. Whoops. It's cool. Whoops. I'm an asshole. <laughs> the bad thing, though, about working from home has been like, like when you're at work, <clears throat> people know you're not there if you're not there. Yeah. And if you're if it's lunchtime, people are having lunch. When you're working from home, there is no lunchtime that exists. No. Like, most of our stuff overlaps with lunchtime. People yeah. book stuff back to back to back all day. So it's like there's no separation, really, of work schedule and life. I now write something into my calendar for half an hour or an hour where it's just in the middle of the day where people can't book against it. And I just write, eat idiot or hey, moron, eat a sandwich. <laughs> and, it just, and if people look at it, I hope they go, oh, Jesus Christ, I hope this guy eats. <laughs> I might just start putting a hold in my calendar that says, leave me alone. Yes. <laughs> for hey, this do it. period of time. Do it. People leave you alone. It works. <laughs> it's great. Message me. Yep. I will for say. For this half hour. I will say, I do hope that there is a time where I feel way more efficient working from home for a lot of my job where I can like fire off messages or get stuff done or, or whatever. I, I feel like I can be responsible to myself and like get things sort of rolling and, and moving or whatever. <clears throat> but man, I really miss being just in the studio like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fuck. It's like, way, way better. Man, it feels so much better to just do this. I love that my webcam isn't overheating right now. I know, <laughs> we do. I love that I, I don't have to export my audio after this. So exactly. send it to when, the, when, when I sat, down, house, when it, I sat it down before you yep. got here, uh, we were having a conversation about which episode it was, and I think Mike or someone said it was 644. And in my head, I thought, oh, let me make a folder for that right now. Like, I was <laughs> like, I'm going to get ready for this. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a nice change. And I'm, I'm hoping that, like, as more of the country gets vaccinated and, like, certain restrictions ease up and, you know, Warner Media, whoever controls, like, the regulations mm -hmm. that we have to follow here. Yeah, it's still a pain in the ass hole. And it's, I mean, right we're still treating which it. Which is good. We're still treating, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're being very, very safe, and we're kind of treating the situation as if we're not vaccinated. Right. Um, because that's just kind of like what is part of the course right now. Is it raining? I think it's a motorcycle or something else. <laughs> oh, okay. we should get motorcycles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I'm hoping right. that at some point soon, like those things kind of ease up a little and people could start working in studio again because. Yep. I, things are going pretty quickly here. It's good. Yeah, it like uh, it yeah. feels a bunch of stuff is opening here. No, just thinking are you thinking about getting motorcycles? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of motorcycle do you want? Do you want a motorcycle like Jeff has, where he pretends it's a bicycle, but it's fucking not? That thing is a nightmare. It's a, oh yeah, never got a bike ride with Jeff. You guys should listen to Fuckface in about two weeks when that episode comes out. Oh, What's God. that for? Two weeks from now? Uh, pro it's, uh, it might be next week. I don't think it's this week. I remember it's a pain because I I wanted to make a little audio cut uh -huh. to contradict the bullshit that Andrew spouts. But I had to go into the files <laughs> of the episode because uh -huh. it was now. I couldn't just grab it off, you know, the website or just ask podcast. Nick for it. Nick will Nick will like collude with you, how whatever you need. Yeah, well, he's got like new kid business. You it? have Nick theories that you wanted to get into on Fuckface. I do, and I have to get to them on the next recording because Nick wasn't there for the last one. But I got do you theories. guys know, like Nick had this kid, and it's like yeah. a whole situation and everything. And Gavin is like, Not oh, I want. It. I have like Nick. Theories. It's really just I wanted to ask him something, but he wasn't there. His name is Nick Fury. <laughs> Nick is maybe the nicest guy that works here. That yeah. is just that hasn't been in any content that wasn't. He was just you know audio guy, whatever. And then I've got to read a note that I gave to Nick because he will put up the the, ep the episode yeah. for us to give notes on. Mm -hmm. um, let me, let really me is the nicest thing. person. He he is, and he yeah. was never in anything until Michael bought him a monkey mask and went, "You're the sauce monkey." <laughs> and yeah. now there's a plush. He's the Face Jam mascot. His he gave the plush to his like he was in Dead son. Little Roosters. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like well, it's the crazy. <laughs> it's crazy that after like years, it's just like you're a meme now. And he goes. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm the monkey. <laughs> <laughs> this was a work note that I gave Nick today as he posted, mm -hmm. I think, the episode that goes out on yeah. Wednesday. I wrote, <laughs> I think we should cut the anal blood sneeze story <laughs> around the 10 minute mark. It <laughs> Just the gross detail. <laughs> well, I, this is a work conversation. He's like, will do. <laughs> yep. He's like delving in there. He's like, let me trim yep. that. There's a lot of stuff every should use that like, 
it's one of those things where you're like, I can't believe people are saying this or doing this at yep. a real company and like this exists. Like there is a Slack channel uh, that's just called 420. 420. And every day at 420, people just put this emoji. And like, that's, <laughs> it. Really? that's it. That's the whole channel. It's awesome. <sighs> There's a Slack channel called Burgers. And if you join it, <laughs> you can't leave. You get invited back. John Mace tried to close it. They reopened it and they reinvited John Mace. Is there any discussion in there? Or is no. It just <laughs> sometimes we go might eat a burger today, and and then sometimes it's just nonsense. It's great. Oh, that man. is speaking like, of burgers. We, I mean, when every when things get a little bit more comfortable and people start mm-hmm. comfortable, I want to get lunch. Yes, yeah. I want to get lunch with human beings. Yep, not in my house. <laughs> yep, <laughs> we can schedule it. Yeah, Ooh. we should. Yeah. Uh, I had a burger yesterday. It was delicious. Like hamburger, hamburger, yeah. or like hamburger, hamburger? No, hamburger, hamburger. Where at? From Mighty Fine. You are a real fan of Mighty Fine, Mighty Fine's Fine, good. It's the first time they've ever fucked up my order, though. <gasps> oh, no. no. I ordered a half pound, and I got home. It was a quarter pound. Motherfucker. That's half, that's half the burger, I though. know. That's half my burger. Was I've going. made the opposite mistake. No, when, no. when Bernie took us on that, like, food tour of Austin mm-hmm. to, like, film that vlog where we were going around to different restaurants, and, like, Mighty Fine, I think, was, like, our fourth or fifth stop, I ordered the half pound instead oh, of the God. quarter pound. Not really knowing that I had the option, and I was like, I have to finish this now. Oh my god, why don't you just eat her? And then it's exactly what you wanted. Well, because part of the rule was that we had to finish our food. No, I'm just kidding. I just <laughs> Bernie it, made the rule, we had it, to do it, it. forced so me to eat it, but it was also really good. So yeah. I ended up Mighty Fine is very good. I like course. it. Uh, oh, yeah. Casino El Camino. Oh, oh, I haven't been to oh, Casino in forever. Oh my god, I the last time when that was with you. Man, it's been a, that's the last time I was there. Yeah. Well, I think when we know was where that? our first like lunch is. Two years ago? A year <laughs> like, and a half ago? You mean Jeff and Jason? Time. Yeah. So good. That's downtown, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on 6th. It's, it's like right at the end where you go, I don't want to go any further. Yeah, yeah. I've been. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. This is the end. This is it. I, maybe I would have gone to Easy Tiger a little further, yeah. but they're, even they pulled out. They're gone now, too. No, thank you. Um, I. People are making this uh, emoji in hey. chat now all over our Um. My you number know, one before uh, we, in text. I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. We had to go uh, get a COVID test yesterday, most mm. of us. Uh, All right, <laughs> <chill out. laughs> before coming up to do this. Uh, Let me just <laughs> casually drag you under this bus. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are. Enjoy <laughs> your spot. And uh, I, I, I'd never been out here to the, the studio, I guess, oh, around yeah. that time. It was we had We had a window that we could get the the um, the covid test i saw you yep it was like right around 10 30 yesterday and after i got the covid test i was driving down the street here and you know right down the street there's that big church mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i guess i'd never driven by that church at a time when there was a service church about was happening, to start. Yeah. right and as i was driving by they have like dudes in suits with big signs standing <laughs> along the street that say we saved a seat for you in like all capitals, like calligraphy. The saved was also big. Yes. Yeah, I saw the same guy. And they're like out there, like showing it to traffic. And I was, I, I drove past them and I thought, they must be like, they must be in trouble. Like <laughs> they, they, they got the shitty job. Like they, like they have to go out and, and hold the sign at the street because I can't imagine someone driving by just deciding to stop off the cuff and go into church. I was like, I haven't showered today. I'm wearing like, <laughs> A dirty T-shirt and some old shorts right now. I would not stop and be like, you know what? Yeah, they did save a seat Hop for me. Like, in. Yeah. Time. Who's uh, the target uh, audience? Is it the people who just got in their car and were like, which church? And just yeah. Started driving around. Gotta find a new one today. I'm in my Sunday best. Or someone who just did something really bad and they're like, I should probably, get, I should probably go get saved today. <laughs> Why did I throw that dog out the window? They saved the seat for me. It was uh, meant it was, to be. <laughs> It was just so weird to see that. I can't, I can't imagine anybody ever no. pulling over. Maybe it's just like, so it's in your mind, and later you're like, church, yeah. Yeah, because you remembered. Uh, Talking about it now. Now you know about it. And then we <laughs> saved a seat for you. Uh, they have stuff like that in England or what? <laughs> Guys holding signs. In front of never, <laughs> I feel like I've never seen anyone hold a sign there. I feel like the signs do. I think they, it's a very American They thing. shove them on a pole. The pole does the trick. It doesn't need to be spinning. Right. Sometimes you get one of those wind-powered ones mm-hmm. where it just spins the same thing around. Yeah. That's about as far as it goes. I've never seen someone tossing arrows and Listen, all that. Listen, you got to get a job where you can here, right? It, <laughs> you do, if there's a job of a pole somewhere, someone's going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, like the sign spinner thing. I think it's going to be uniquely like early 2010s. I don't think it's going to like stick around. I've I think seen you'll it see. From time to time I, I, I think I think you will see them from time to time, but I don't think it's going to be as prevalent as it was six years ago or whatever. Yeah. It's um, 
because they automated it somehow with mannequins that hold uh, the sign. Have you yeah, seen that? Yeah. Where it's just like a mannequin body and then like a robot arms that go like this. So they're just like moving it. And you're like, wow, they just fired that guy from Little Caesars, huh? Like he doesn't do this anymore. <laughs> five five so, bucks. Uh, can, yeah. I, can I bitch about something? Oh, fuck yeah. Is it about a robot taking people's jobs? It's, a, it's related to a sign. Okay. Here's your sign. I was driving around yesterday. Saved a seat for you. <laughs> I was driving down 183, not too far from here. And, you know, they have those big signs that they do, like, amber alerts. Like, they'll put, like, information up mm -hmm. on them. I was driving by one, and it said, clear alert. Okay, yes. Okay. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is a clear what alert? What is a clear there's alert? There's an amber alert. There's a silver alert. Amber alert and silver alert I've, I've seen. seen a blue yeah. alert. Blue alert? What is a clear alert? There's a clear alert. There's a camo <laughs> alert. What? what do they mean? That's where you have to, like, salute the military? Yeah, yeah. It's a, how did you know? Did you know? <laughs> I'm constantly a, camo a, alerting. I had to look it up. <laughs> a clear alert is... Uh, where is it? It's, it's It assists law enforcement in locating and rescuing missing, kidnapped, or abduct, abducted adults or adults who are in immediate danger of injury or death. Clear? Right. There's so many other colors that aren't used. As uh, far as we, as we too, know. Maroon. We, we have too many alerts. I would, say red, alert. I would say red alert. That's a red alert to me. No, there is no red That's alert. That's a catastrophe. I'm sorry. What? Is it because it's used in I movies? told you all the alerts. There's Wait, no red there's alert. all the alerts? Bless you. Excuse me. Amber, silver, blue, camo, clear. Okay. Well, what's camo? Camo. Well, you've salute the military. Amber is the color of my energy, and then clear is for adults, which should be red. Um, silver is for old people, I yes. assume. Like their hair. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Like my camo hair. alert mm -hmm. is the military, basically the military equivalent of a blue alert, I think. Oh, so like a, a person in the military was shot or. Hurt or something? I'm, or... I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Because isn't a blue alert where a police officer has been shot? Yes, a blue alert is designed to speed in the apprehension of violent criminals who kill or seriously wound local, state, or federal law enforcement officers. Mm. But isn't Amber not even referring to the color right! of Amber? It's... That's what I'm getting. It's yeah. someone's name, right? <laughs> it's like calling it oh, Dave Alert. We but got a Dave it's Alert. It's named after a person. It's not named Wait, for the. I thought it was named after the color. No, no, no it's named after a person. Why is everything else a color though? <laughs> exactly. So Maybe the Amber Alert was. The first one, and the person who made nope. the next one thought it was a color, nope. not a person's it, well, name. That, but that's a Watergate thing, right? Everything is a gate. Like something now. gate, yeah. And and I can't. Are we I gonna can't start fucking stand when people put gate at the end of a scandal? Christ, if that's ever a method act to gate, you'd be living. Oh my god, do you understand gate? Water <laughs> gate is the name of a hotel. It's gate isn't a suffix. All I want though, <laughs> I want whatever is going on with Matt Gates to be Gates Gate. Oh, I think oh. I did because yeah. that's whatever a fun is play on words. whatever it, ooh whatever is going on with him. And so I listen. Him. No politics uh, anymore from me ever ca again. All the politics from me. <laughs> that guy's a fucking maniac. A camo alert is designed to notify the public of a missing current or former member of the United States Armed Forces. Like Jeff, this oh. whole alert thing. I feel like either I, I just don't think I had an iPhone for very long in England or something. But in America, you can switch on. Will yeah. turn off alerts that just come through. I guess your carrier. Right. Is it like yeah. AT and T sending me these things or Verizon? I yeah. guess. Probably. But your phone. I've never had this in England. Your phone will just go. Ah. Uh, uh, yeah. Max volume yeah. in the whatever time of night, and it scares the shit out of me every time. Yeah. And it's not for anyone. What? Who's gonna? It's gonna right. maybe like one zero point zero zero one of. I guess that's the whole point of alerts, right? But Correct. Does it right. have to sound like that? that that's can why I just disabled like, it. Alert. Yeah. Can it just be a, a notification or a vibration that you would check on your it? phone? Yeah. Because I'm not gonna be in bed at two a.m. and be like, I better get out and look. Tar I better get outside now. No, I'll be right. like, oh, I guess I know the name well, and like. All that happens is people turn it off. I've disabled them on my yeah. phone because I don't want to get them anymore. Yeah. Well, I have yeah, mine on slow because I'm a good citizen, so. Dude, you almost get out in the middle of the night then to look well, for every yeah, Amber I get Alert up, that comes through. I put on my little pants alert. and I say, get them. Guys, it's Amber Alert Gate, all right? <laughs> I, yeah, well, uh, Gotta talk about it. And, and sometimes it'll be like a uh, uh, flood warning and you can. You, you, there's already like three inches of water like hitting the ground outside. So it's like, well, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Did we, get, did we get something on our phone when the power outages were happening? <laughs> I didn't get anything. I Your feel like it would have been like, hey, we're about to get an ice storm. Power I didn't might get go a up. Maybe. single alert. I didn't say, yeah. it didn't say like, hey, conserve water. Yeah. Or I uh, If, if I didn't off, have Twitter, I would have been fucked. I think I, I got text alerts. I did not. I think I did. But that would have been the perfect time for one of the... Oh, ah! leave them on. Yeah. Be a good citizen. Hey, maybe uh, so. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Soon. <laughs> we got to wrap up here. 
Really? Oh, I, okay. don't just, I don't want this one to end. This it's, it's, it's time. Don't worry, baby. We still, we still the got show. the after show. Oh, yeah, the post show. White uh, cat. Yeah. Baby. But that's it. Uh, we're glad to be back. That but, was uh, the, a very sort of mellow opening you did for such an exciting podcast. Yeah. Was that, was that deliberate? Yeah, it's fine. It's like like, people it's probably like are wondering, too, if because I know Off Topic is back now, I think, every Thursday in studio. Um, uh-huh. I, don't I don't know if we've decided if we're coming back every single Monday to do in person. It's kind of more right. case by case basis. I, I think, think next week we'll probably be at home. Yeah. But I think we're still we're still trying to figure out the cadence and what that's going to be like. Right. Maybe we'll be back in studio. I don't know. We what gotta, if, what we if it's it just out. you here and we'll be at home? I don't want to get my nose. I don't want to get that COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad, baby. Yes, well, you I might have like, to. I was getting it <laughs> for the extra life. And it was like going down my nose hole. And I was like, well, I've been inside for... <laughs> Five months. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, so gotta be house. careful. We'll see you guys uh, next week, whether it's here or from home. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.